So you're at your medical school interview and you're asked, what makes an excellent doctor? What do you say? In this video, I'll take you through five qualities that'll make you an excellent doctor. Hey guys, this is Raf from RP Med. So this is a very commonly asked question in medical school interviews as well as specialty training interviews. And it really took me a little while after I started working as a doctor to notice these were the qualities that some doctors had that just made them stand out as excellent. Now, three of these are quite specific to being a doctor and the last two will apply to all other professional work. So let's get right into it. Number one, empathy. Now, just what is empathy? Simply put, empathy refers to the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes. And how does this differ from sympathy? Sympathy refers to the feelings of sorrow for someone who is experiencing misfortune. So in short, empathy is a knowledge while sympathy is more of an emotion. Why does this matter? So empathy matters in two ways. First, it allows you to fully appreciate your patient's values and priorities so that your treatments can align with them. Secondly, it allows you to do your work objectively without being having emotions cloud your judgment. Just remember back to how difficult it is to concentrate when you're angry or depressed. Medicine can be a very emotional area to work in and you need to think objectively and rationally at all times rather than allowing emotions to affect your judgment. That is why a doctor who is able to keep emotions separate and keep things objective can be especially effective and is regarded as excellent. Number two is the desire to help. How cliche isn't it? But guess what? Many cliches have so much truth to them and this is no exception. The primary role of a doctor is to treat illnesses and help people with illnesses get back to their state of being well again. Now this seems obvious enough, but now consider that you are nearing the end of your 12 hour shift and just as you are hoping to get back home, you get a call saying that one of your patients has chest pain. Now you don't know whether this is a heart attack or another less scary cause of chest pain. But what do you do? Do you leave it until tomorrow? Or do you go and see this patient knowing that your dinner and family will have to wait? Now that scenario is testing whether you would put the interest of your patients ahead of yours. But wait, it sounds like something you could do without really having the desire for it. Well, yes. But what you must also consider is that this is the fundamental part of being a doctor and you'll be doing this for the 40 plus years that you'll be working as a doctor. And that is a very long time to be putting on a show for. And when work eventually and inevitably becomes stressful, guess what? Your fake act will be the first thing to go out the window. If that's the case, of course you'll suffer. But your patients, colleagues and your family will also suffer. And that's a lose-lose situation where nobody wins. Number three, passion for teaching. The word doctor in Latin actually means teacher which actually ties in nicely with the use of the term doctor as in someone who's completed the uh, PhD degree. Why do I bring this up? That is because as medical professionals, we're not only responsible for teaching ourselves, but also to teach those who are currently learning. Medicine is a lifelong learning process and the truly excellent doctors are those who are involved in teaching medical students or trainee doctors. Number four is passion for growth. A vital part of being a doctor is that he or she must strive to become the best version of oneself to better serve the patients and the society. Also, because medicine is constantly evolving, an excellent doctor is always prepared to learn and be educated so that he or she may grow. Number five is performing well under pressure. Performing well under pressure is vital to be excellent in any field. But it's especially true in medicine because as doctors we deal with people's lives and a small mistake can have a dire consequence in someone's life. Now I'm actually planning to make some videos on how to work on your ability to perform well under pressure. So subscribe so you don't miss them. So there you have it. That's been the five qualities that make an excellent doctor. If you're a medical student, make sure you keep these in mind and try to work on them. If you're looking to get into medical school, this will help you in your preparation for the interviews. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button below. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, let me know in the comments below and subscribe so you can catch all of my future videos to help you along your journey to medicine. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day.